as how. Yeah? There's plenty of them. So within the universe, at the bottom of the universal bubble, there's like an ocean, we say. And at the bottom of that ocean, the, the divine energy expands himself into the bottom of the universe. And then through that, he expands himself one further time as all the souls in all the universe. Yeah? Every single atom has a soul at the centre of it. Yeah? Every single atom. And that soul, whether it's in a snail or a slug or, or some big amazing being, it's just they're all exactly equal, but they're all unique. Yeah? That's Brahma. That's who makes the universe. That, that's who weaves the DNA. Incredibly clever is the firstborn being in each universe is the oldest born being in each universe and so it's in a sense God made the universe but in another sense his mate made it for him yeah and why because he he had this dream he said hey well I want to create a universe and he said no problem off you go yeah and then he teaches him teaches him how to do it yeah that's the Brahma Samhita that's the book that goes the big whole everything to do with that and how that happened yeah so you've got different levels in the universe there's, there's three basic planes of existence within the universe, the lower, the middle, and the higher. You see that in all ancient cultures and in Lord of the Rings. And there's a side vision, yeah? This came from NASA, so uh, it's very, very, very good. This is our, our middle plane of the universe, yeah? Each, um, each area, each concentric ring they're a bit like vinyls of different sizes, all stacked together, if you imagine that. So they all coexist together, some are higher, some are lower, but they're all spinning around a central point. Yeah? We are somewhere within, within that. All of this is massive, truly massive, and there's lots of stuff that lives in it too. That's what it looks like on the side. And no, it's not a spinning ball. However, for the people that don't like this, that they're still attached to the spinning ball idea, 1400 years Copernicus, um, great sage, is also made up the, how the ball model can also work alongside because they made the maths for it and they also created the idea of gravity way, way, way before Newton did. So whether, whether you're not happy with the idea of, that we live on a flat surface or a round surface, the philosophy is still the same because they figured that out way, 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 way before everybody else did. Um, every, all the stars, everything moves around from a central point, the sun, the moon, all the different abodes, they're all different things. It says this very, very, very clearly throughout the Vedas. I'm sorry if it's a bit too freaky for you. If it is, it's like just light entertainment. Okay? Um, so, this, this is our earthly, earthly plane. It's called Jam, Jambu, Jambudweep. Yeah? That's what we live on. Jambudweep. It's right there, yeah? You've got North Pole type thing at the middle, yeah? And then round the outside you see a certain blue, a certain blue ring that goes round the outside. Now Kali Yuga is the fourth season of the universe. The universe has four seasons, just like we have four seasons on Earth, yeah? In the winter season, which is Kali Yuga, things freeze up. So the big blue thing around us is now a big wall of ice. And strangely enough, they called it Antarika 10,000 years ago too. So make of that what you will. That's our Jamba Dweep, yeah? Same model as used on the UN flag. And um, that's how Vedic society existed. At the middle of Jamba Dweep, you've got the magnetic north. They described it as a mountain, but it was more a case of it being an energetic thing. People have been trying to ballify the Vedas for years and years and years, but I've got the original stuff because I nicked it from a temple quite a long time ago. I had to because it was going to be burned or something. Um, yeah, so you can see it illustrates different models. You've got lower. On the lower planetary systems of the universe lives a slightly lower existence, and all these amazing flashy energy beings live on the higher system. Yeah, but that's below Brahma, who sits right, right at the super top above the North Pole, which they call Dhruva Loka. And also, they encoded this into many of their ancient buildings. We say seven levels, like you know, represents the chakras, but it also represents the different <coughs> planes of existence. That's why we say a plane of existence. That's one of the ways how they've managed to ballify it. It works both ways, though. The, ma the maths just about kind of fit to a, a certain degree, and it deals with black holes as well. What are black holes? Those are the 
the bits, if you like, like an axle, say everything spun on an axle, you'd have to have a bit at the top and the bottom that the axle stuck in, and those are your big black holes.